13 Korean actors you didn't know speak fluent English. There's no doubt that the Korean wave is getting bigger and bigger worldwide. Interviews and fan meets with our favorite Korean actors and actresses are becoming more common outside of Korea. There are interpreters always ready to translate. But do you ever wonder which Korean actors and actresses can manage interviews without them? Don't skip on this video because we'll be showing you Korean actors whom you didn't know can speak English really well. Number 1. Park Bo Gum Thank you for your time and it was really good meeting you. I look forward to working with you. Let's start off the list with our Akitas Bo Gummy. If you didn't know, Park Bo Gum can definitely ace an interview overseas and answer questions in straight English. Yes, the star wowed everyone during a fan meet abroad when he exchanged conversations with the interviewer and asked fans some questions in English. He totally surprised us with his unexpected skill. Our Bo Gummy is truly a man of many talents. Park Bo Gum is currently serving in the military, but you can catch his latest drama, Record of Youth, and his upcoming movie with Gong Yu, Sobuk, and Wonderland, where he'll also share the screen with Bae Suzy. Were you shocked when videos of Park Bo Gum interacting with fans in English went viral on the internet? For us to know, hit that like button and just a bit to the side, you'll find the subscribe button too. Number 2. Choi Woo Shik Choi Woo Shik has been on our radar for quite some time. But for the new fans he gained from the award-winning movie Parasite, there is still more to learn about him. And of course, we're here to share with you one great fact. With the undeniable success of Parasite, the actor, together with the cast, attended award shows and events outside Korea. And as the interview started, you couldn't believe what you were hearing. But this is my first time in Toronto, so it's really great to be here. Choi Woo Shik was actually responding in fluent English. How did our great actor learn this skill? Well. When he was in the sixth grade, Choi Woo Shik and his family moved to Vancouver, Canada. Spending more than 10 years there before moving back to Korea, he learned English. He even said in an interview that he once was more comfortable speaking in English than Korean. Number 3. Park Min Young Never has it crossed our minds that our favorite cute comedian actress knows how to speak English. We've seen many of her Korean dramas, but lengthy scenes of her speaking English? Not really. That's why our eyes grew wide with this discovery about the actress. I'm truly honored to be here tonight and I'd also like to thank all of my fans and everyone. <laughs> Park Min Young got the chance to learn English when she was in high school because she was an exchange student. Getting an opportunity to study abroad means getting a great chance of learning a foreign language. That was the case for Park Min Young. Or should we say Rachel? This is the actress's English name and she's still using it. If you want to check, you can look her up on Instagram with her English name. Number 4. Gong Yu Okay, okay, who had their eyes grow wide when Gong Yu's Louis Vuitton commercial came out? Don't take time. Let it take you across the sky, into the horizon, down to the sea. The luxury brand's ad had him endorsing a product while speaking in English, and his pronunciation shook us all. He spoke smoothly and confidently. Unlike the others, Gong Yu didn't go abroad to learn English. So how come he can pronounce the words so well, despite it not being his first language? Most of us don't know this, but the actor studies English during his free time. Missing Gong Yu? Don't worry, because he'll be on our screens in 2021 with his upcoming drama, Sea of Silence. Number 5. Shin Si-kyung Another star who showed everyone that you don't have to study or live abroad to learn English is Shin Si-kyung. Like with most stars, we truly don't know what they're capable of until we witness their skills during interviews, off-cam moments, or reality shows. For Shin Si-kyung, we learned about her good English-speaking abilities on the show Pocha Beyond Borders. Uh, and do you guys know uh, what kind of place this here is? Very typical Korean food, is it okay? It's really, <gasps> really? Yes, really? So happy to hear that because it was the first order yeah. for the pancake. You want to try a piece? Of course, why not? Wow, these stars are really catching us off guard with their hidden skills. We don't know when she'll let us hear her speak English again, but we do know that her drama is coming on our screens this year in Run On. Number 6. Han Yi Seol we often assume that the Korean actors and actresses speak Korean as their first language for Han Yi Seo. This isn't the case because her first language is actually English. When I was really young, I used to love this um, tripling, you know, mm -hmm. like do Careful. somersaults, yes, yes. And jump and roll and all those stuff. You know, it kind of reminded me of my childhood and I really had fun, even though, you know, the floor is not trampling, you know, but 
I get to jump and I had fun. Oh. It was good. Okay, hands up if you didn't know this. Well, we didn't either. Have you watched some of her dramas? Because she is so fluent in Korean, you'd never think that the actress was born and raised in Los Angeles. Spending most of her life there and even graduating from a college in the US, the actress has had every opportunity to learn and be fluent in English. Want to see Han Ye Sol on your screens? You can watch her in the Korean drama Big Issue. Number 7. Choi Shi Won If you're part of the K-pop world, you probably already know the Super Junior member is fluent in English. But if you're from the K-drama world, you might not know that the She Was Pretty and Revolutionary Love Star can hold a conversation in English. Yes, I am. Really? Can I have your autograph or photograph? I'm kidding. I'm not. I wish I was. We've heard him say a few lines in some scenes, but let's admit it. We didn't think it counted since it was scripted. But the actor really speaks very well, and his accent is just as good. We are an influencer, so that's why we have to do our responsibility. With the dedication to make it big worldwide, the single actor started studying to understand the questions foreigners were asking him. His hard work paid off because he is fluent in English. Number 8. Lee Byun Han This may not be a secret to many, but it would be a crime to leave out Lee Byun Han from this list. Of course, we're adding him to the video because some of you might not know how fluent the actor is in English. Having been in several Hollywood films, his English was definitely a huge part of the picture. I was actually starting to like you. I was even thinking about not killing you. This is what happens when you try to save the world. Why defend yourself to man too blind to see? He displayed his English-speaking skills in many films, and we're just out here loving the talent. What impresses us more is the fact that he actually learned English on his own. Without having to live in the US or study abroad, Lee byun Han totally proved how smart he was. And he's also fluent in French. How cool is that? You can watch the actor in the movies G.I. Joe The Rise of the Cobra plus its sequel G.I. Joe Retaliation and in another American movie Red 2. Number 9. An Hyo Sop Remember the scene with An Hyo Sop in Abyss where he was on call speaking in English? Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I made a call to the marketing manager in China. Yes, you can finalize the rest. Okay. Alright, let's grab a drink next time. Alright, take care, bye-bye. He had such a great accent, we were so confused whether it came naturally or if it was just well-practiced. Anyway, we're here to clear up the confusion. An Hyo Sop is definitely fluent in English. Shocking, right? What's even more surprising is that the actor is Canadian. Yep, together with his family, he migrated to Canada at a young age and later moved back to Korea at 17. Aside from Abyss, you can catch An Hyo Sop and his English in GOT7's Jackson on Flower Boy Bromance. Want more of him? Watch the actor in his latest drama, Dr. Romantic 2, and an upcoming one entitled Han Chun Gi. Number 10. Beidina Trying to make a name for herself outside Korea, Beidina has been in multiple foreign films and series, including Cloud Atlas, Jupiter Ascending, and Sense8. I need to speak with my father. Yes, I know my father. I have left messages for him. He has not returned. Tell me where he is, and I'll go to him. I can't do that because I don't know where he is. Do you want to leave another message? A message? She appeared on our screens with English-speaking roles, and maybe you're thinking that she might have studied English or stayed a few years in the US. But in reality, the actress never forced herself to learn English. It just came naturally. I hope that we can say the same for us as we try to learn Korean. <laughs> LOL. Kidding aside, her multiple appearances in Hollywood projects led her to become good in English and confident with it. Hoping for great success in her upcoming drama, let's wait for Beidina in The Silent Sea, and hopefully in the next season of Kingdom. Number 11. Kang Sora The looks, the acting, and her English-speaking skills, Kang Sora is totally keeping us impressed. How did the actress learn English? Did she grow up in the US? What's your guess? Kang Sora actually learned English by watching lots of Disney movies. She was so dedicated to learning the language to the point that studying English became her hobby. Witness her skills in English in the series Incomplete Life. I worked myself for a few days to test the durability of the product. Uh, checking whether there's any dent on the pads or any changing shape after laundry. Not at all. And how confidence radiated from the actress when she conducted an English interview with the makers of the Disney movie Brave. You can find Kang Sora in her latest movie, Secret Zoo. Number 12, Iso Jin. Can I pick up the car tomorrow? 
Is yeah. it possible? Yeah. You, yeah. With your documents, your driving license, oh, and two. your passport. Can I just do the uh, paperwork right now and pick up, this, pick up the car tomorrow? Yes. Is yeah. it fine? Yeah, okay. Putting his skills in English to good use, Lee so Jin has been really helpful to grandpas trying to navigate their way around in several tourist spots in Grandpa's Over Flowers. Um, two beer. And do you have a pina colada version? And one iced coffee? How did the actor learn English? Lee so Jin studied in the US. What's even more jaw-dropping is that he graduated from New York University with a degree in business. You can hear more of his English on the show Talents for Sale and in the drama Wonderful Days. You can also find him in the variety show Friday Joy Package. Number 13, Kim Ji Sook. Kim Ji Sook has constantly served us with feel good and comedic dramas. His goofy portrayals got us so distracted that we never really thought about how smart he really was. First off, he knows how to speak English. Then he impressed us more when we learned that the actor also received a degree in teaching English and German. Yes, as if Korean and English weren't enough, German also joined the picture. It was a short moment, but if you're curious about what he sounds like speaking in English, try searching his scene from the drama Personal Taste. I was wondering about that anyway, so you got to tell me what he likes, okay? Looking for his latest project? You can watch him in the 2020 Korean drama My Unfamiliar Family. Korean dramas always have those short moments where the actors speak in English. Sometimes, some of them practice their lines really well, while others don't need to, as the English words may come naturally to them. Thank you for watching this video! We'd love to know about more actors who are fluent in English. Mind if you share them in the comments section? We'll be waiting! Thanks for watching, MDLers, and we'll see you next time! Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe! I'm your host, at Happy Squeak.